In graphic arts, math is used in several ways. One way is measuring things and reading numbers. Angles are also very important. One thing that we can use math for is screen printing, or for example, printing a shirt. But in order to do that, we need to make sure that we have a screen first. You start off by making the screen, which you need the plain frame, and then you have to make sure that all the tension is released. In order to do that, we use a torque wrench to loosen all four bars. Then we have to cover the empty frame with the material. The one that we're using today has a 200 th thread count. There are all different kinds, but the higher the thread count, the less ink is going onto the shirt. The lower the thread count, the more ink goes on. Once we have the right material, you start by clipping off one of the sides and then sliding a piece of plastic in to keep the fabric in place. You do the same thing on the other side, except this time you add a tiny bit of tension by pulling it with your hand only. You do the same thing to the other side and the last one too. Since we have everything in place, we can now add some tension. You have to do this by taking the bar and moving it outwards, in this case 45 degrees. You do this to the next two sidebars as well, but evenly or one of the sides will be pulled tighter than the other and it will have more tension as well. Now that everything is put together, we can use a tensiometer to measure exactly how much tension is on the screen to make sure it's even. We took three different readings across the screen and they all were around 19 newtons, just like they're supposed to be. Over time, screens lose tension, even if they just sit there. When we checked it again, it went down to 15 newtons or so. Then we tightened it again. When we measured it again, all the readings were around 22 newtons, which is perfect because you are supposed to add some more tension the second day. The problem is that if the tension is extremely uneven across the screen, when you actually go to print the shirt, it becomes really distorted as you can see in the picture.